Hey YouTube team, Brock Shady here showing you guys the new Magic 2012 corset. Okay, here we go. We have a special member today, Hunter. Come on over here, Hunter. Hey. Hey, okay. So we're going to go through all the mythics and all the rares. Rank them one through five. Five being the highest, one being the low. Let's start go through the cards. Okay, first one. Angelic Destiny. It is an enchant creature. You get the plus four, plus four. It has flying, first strike, and it becomes an angel. And whenever it dies, it... It, this card comes back to its hand. The mythic. What do you think about it? It costs four. Huh. What do you think about it? It's a pretty good card. Yeah. I'm gonna rank it a three. I mean, yeah. Angel decks are gonna use it, and that's about it. I mean, I'm gonna do three too. Okay. So the next card. Okay. We have Blood Bloodlorn of Valagas. Bloodthirst three, which is kind of boring. Flying, and whenever you cast a creature, it gains Bloodthirst. The mythic. What do you think about it? It costs five. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it kind of sucked to me too. Yeah. The two. Okay. Okay, let's go to a Chandra the Fire Blarian. This is the a brand new Plane Walker. That's gonna be pretty cool. Which would be good for fire decks. Yeah, like mine. Woo. Black Red Vampire. Woo. Okay. Um, his her, she she costs four. Her loyalty is three. It is one damage to a target creature or player. When when you cast the next instant or sorcery, it copies it. And then her last ability does six damage to every creature and player, which kind of sucks. What do you think? I think it's a four. Yeah. That's pretty good. Alright, okay, next one. Fireborn, Hellkite. Bloodthirst again. Flying, cost seven, six, six. What do you think of this one? I think it's a little pricey. Yeah, a little pricey to me too. Okay, let's just go to the next one. Okay, another plane walker. Grunk, the premium hunter. It costs three. It costs, it costs five. I'm sorry. It had three loyalty. His, her, his first buddy says put a three, three beast. Second one, draw a card equal to whatever the power is. Last one, put a 6-6 six, six worm on the battlefield for each land. So they can get a lot of 6-6, six, six, but still not the greatest. A little pricey. What do you think? It? I'm going to say about yeah. three. Two or three. Okay. Next one we got a uh, reprint plane walker. Gideon. This will be good for your deck. Yeah, white deck. Gideon mm -hmm. Lure. Gideon Lure, pretty good. Makes human soldiers. It had more It had more loyalty than whatever it costs, so you can just pay whatever you want. So, pretty good to see. That's six. All the abilities either plus or minus with big ability stays at zero. It's going to be a pretty good one. Okay. We have to go through a few more. We're almost already out of time. That's epic. Okay. Uh, Inferno Titan again. Or another reprint from the last four set. This guy whipped a lot of people's butt. So, we a good card. It's about a three or four. Okay. Next one. Next one we got Jace. New Jace. Oh, five. That's going to be hard, yeah. It's got to be five. Yeah, you'll probably it, never beat it. <laughs> it costs five. It ain't the deal the old one that had four abilities, but this one's still amazing. This one is. It's going to be worth $30, $40. That's going to be a good card. Watch out for that one. That's going to be a good one. Okay, we got Prime and Titan. Oh, forget that. That's a five automatically. You get two lands for free per turn whenever it is on the battlefield or whenever it attacks. It's a bad. It costs six, six, six. Trample. Oh, that card bad. Uh, that one, um, Hydra. Medium Hydra. Starts out, it costs two green and whatever you want to pay. It has zero, zero. It enter the battlefield with whatever you paid for the X's for that much attacking defense. Which it won't really help you out in the late game. This is going to be, I think, the worst mythic of the set. And at the beginning of your upkeep, double hit counters, which is pretty cool. And it gets trampled along that 10, but it's kind of a sucky card to me. Okay. Uh, Soren again. It's another reprint. Soren. They're the combo we'll show you guys a little bit later. That will automatically win the game. But he costs six, and the other card costs seven. Okay. Um, his first one does two damage to target creature and player, and you gain two life. The second one automatically takes him down to ten. The last one you control that player turn. That's pretty cool. Okay. And then that's through all the mythics. So next video we'll show you some of the rares. Okay. And then Team Burn Shadow, subscribe, rate watch. Okay, see ya.